Okay, now we're going to go through syntax division process of polynomial. Syntax division is a shortcut of the long division process. So in other words, we're going to find the answer of dividing 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus x plus 6 divided by x minus 3. Um, but doing a, tr a process that is way shorter than the previous one, which is the long division um, process we already went through. So in this process, this is what you do. You're going to put a line here. It's there's different ways to do it. You, some people put line, a, a big box right here. Some people put a little box um, on, on the divisor. But we're going to follow the same process that you guys have in your word, in, in the note, the guide that I'm, I'm going to provide. So right here, what we're going to do is after you have the polynomial descending order and you insert zeros in case you're missing terms, what we have to do is copy just the just the coefficients of each term. So the first one will be six. The next one will be negative nineteen. The next one will be positive one, and the last one will be positive six. We're not missing any term. That's why we're not we're not inserting zeros. Then divided by x minus three. When you have a divisor um, x to the first power minus or plus a constant, it's going, you can use synthetic division. If you have a different um, uh, than x, for example, you have 2x minus 3, 3x, different, co different than 1, the coefficient of x, then you don't use synthetic division. Or if you are dividing by x squared, x cubed, then you don't use synthetic division. It's only when you have 1x to the first power minus or plus something. Like in this case, you have x minus 3. So for the synthetic division, I am going to change the sign of negative 3. I'm going to put 3 right here. Right here. Put 3. This is very easy. First step is you bring down this number right here. You bring it down. Copy here is 6. Then you're going to multiply. You're going to multiply this number times this one and put the answer right under the next number. So this is 3 times 6 is 18, so you're going to put the answer here, 18. 18. Then you add negative 19 plus 18 is negative 1. So you put the answer right here, negative 1. Repeat the process. Multiply 3 times this number, which is negative, negative 1, is negative 3. You put the answer right there, negative 3. Add 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. Okay, continue, repeat the process. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Put the answer right there, negative 6. Then you add, and this becomes 0. What we have here is the last number, which is the remainder of the division. So the remainder of the division is 0. And these are the coefficients of the quotient, which in this case, since this is x squared, x cubed, now this is going to be 6x squared. So the answer is going to be 6x squared minus x minus 2, and the remainder is 0. Which is This is exactly the same division as the previous one like I told you, explained to you, and this is the, this is the, uh, the, co the quotient, 6x squared minus x minus 2, see, remainder 0. Like I said, this is a shortcut of this process. I hope this helps for, to you guys, for, um, and, um, and not only for, to understand this, to, but to practice this. I'm going to solve some problems uh, from the practice that I'm going to give you for, for today and for homework do tomorrow, do uh, Friday, um, and then uh, we're going to start the review next class.